Do you want to learn stretches that you can apply to your massage therapy techniques? Then tune in as I show you some of my favorite stretches to do on the table. Hi, I'm Christopher Brennan with the Muscle Doc Method, and today I'm going to show you some stretches for the neck, low back, and hips that you can apply to your sports massage. Let's get started. So the first stretch, we're going to be focusing in on the neck. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one arm and we're going to place it on the opposite shoulder. Okay. And now we're going to rest our client's head just on our arm right there nice and comfortably. And we're going to take our other hand and cross it underneath and place it on the other shoulder. These are going to hold the shoulder down while we strain our legs and we bring the head and chin towards the chest. And we ask our client to let us know when they get to the edge of their stretch. Are you at your edge of your stretch? Perfect. And we're gonna hold this for three, two, one. Good. And we're gonna come back down. And again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this right arm, reach it underneath, Set it on that left shoulder. Take our right arm underneath our right arm and set it on the left shoulder, bringing it down, asking our client to let us know when we get to the edge of their stretch. And we're going to straighten our legs and we're gonna bring that chin to chest. Good, and we're gonna hold it here for three seconds. Have them take a nice inhale and exhale on their own. Perfect, and we're gonna come back down. Next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna rotate their head to the left. We're gonna take our right arm, reach underneath and place it on their left shoulder. Now we're going to rest their head on our arm. And what we're gonna do is, we're going to take this up until they get to the edge of the stretch. Now this stretch is getting nicely into the levator scapula, into the splenus capitis muscles there. And we have to take a nice inhale in. Good, and exhale. We're not gonna come back down. It's extremely important that you just go to the edge of your client's stretch. It's not a challenge to see how far they can go or anything like that. This should be a very comfortable and enjoyable stretch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the other side. We're going to place our left hand here and we're going to rotate their head to the right. Good. And we're going to use our uh, other hand just for guidance. And we're going to go ahead and lean up and ask them to let us know when they get to the edge of your stretch. Good. We're going to have them take a nice inhale through their nose. And exhale. Good. And we'll come back down. And depending on what their complaint was when they can't come in to my office, I might do this multiple times. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that again. Good. Nice big inhale. Enjoying this nice stretch there in the um, levator and splenus capitis muscles. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're taking their head to the left. So they're facing left. We're going to place our right hand over the shoulder and we're going to depress the shoulder down. And we're going to take our left hand and we're going to apply and I'm resting my forearm onto their head, not over the ears, not over the eyes, not too much pressure on the temple, but we're going to press down and rotate and ask them to let us know when they get to the edge of the stretch. Good. Now we'll have them take a nice big inhale. And they're feeling a wonderful stretch there in the scalenes. Good, and I'm gonna hold this for one more. 
Nice big inhale. Excellent. Good. Now we're going to come to this side. And same thing. We're going to take our left hand, place it on their left shoulder. Take our right hand, wrap it under, and we're going to rotate to the side to the edge of the stretch. Good. Ask them to take a nice big inhale. And exhale. And we'll go ahead and do that one more time. Perfect. Now if we want to be more specific on this levator scapula, which is a, a, a common area, a common site for pain and discomfort, what we can do is we're going, to, we're going to do the example on the right side. We're going to rotate their head like this. I'm going to hold it with my left hand. I'm taking my right hand underneath and I'm pushing down on the scapula. We're going to hold that scapula in position while we reach this head up to get that stretch. Good. And nice inhale. And we're going to do that again. Good. And we'll bring it back down. And it's really important when you're working with people's head to uh, make them feel very supported. This is a very vulnerable position for anyone to be in. So uh, there's a lot of trust established when doing. Um, you know, stretches for the neck, and you want to just be very respectful of the space that you're working in. And just to show the example on the left side, we're going to rotate towards the left. I'm going to grab the head, taking my left hand, placing it underneath, pushing that scapula down while we bring this head up. We're just going to the edge of the stretch. And we're going to have them take a nice inhale. Good, and exhale. And come down. So for these next stretches, uh, this is not something you're going to do on, on everyone, but when applicable, it's very important. Um, I would say this is more of an advanced uh, myofascial stretch. So. Um, something that takes some time to develop the skill. So you're going to have your client go ahead and uh, come back towards you and hang the head off the table. And I am going to make sure that I'm supporting the head. Now this is really, this stretch is geared to target the scalenes and the SEM. And why this is important is uh, in cases of like thoracic outlet syndrome, people who've had um, you know, cervical surgeries and there's a lot of muscle tension, um, athletes who use um, you know, their scalenes excessively for uh, respiration, uh, things like that. But what we're gonna do is, again, I'm holding the head very comfortably. We're gonna rotate it to the right so we can stretch this up. So we're gonna take our right hand around and grasp. Now for this first one, I'm gonna be taking my left hand and placing it on the clavicle to hold the clavicle in position. So I'm on top of the clavicle, not below. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna, I'm applying this downward pressure with my right arm to the edge of their stretch. They're going to go ahead and take a nice inhale in and exhale. And that stretch feels amazing on those scalenes. Now for the SEM, what we're going to do is the same thing. We're tilting this head to the right, taking this right hand underneath. Now instead of being on top of the clavicle, we're going to go just below it down to that first and second rib at the SCM attachment. And now I'm taking my right arm down, applying pressure. I'm at the edge of their stretch. 
They're going to take a nice inhale and exhale. You do not want to overstretch this because of the brachial plexus nerve that travels through this region. But this is a common site of uh, thoracic outlet syndrome where that brachioplex nerve gets entrapped. And you can check out my advanced myofascial uh, upper extremity course where I dive in on uh, how to treat the, the thoracic uh, outlet syndrome using advanced myofascial techniques. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that on the right side again. So I'm tilting his head to the left. I'm going to be wrapping my left hand around, grabbing the back of the head. Feel very secure. The uh, client or patient doesn't have to do anything except for allow you to move their head comfortably. I'm taking my right hand, I'm placing my thumb and palm essentially on that clavicle, not on the nerves and scalenes up here. Be very careful. You're just holding it in place. And we're gonna bring that head back and down until they say they feel a stretch. Good. We'll have them take a nice inhale. And exhale. And then I like to bring it up, let it reset comfortably before moving into the SEM stretch. We're gonna turn it again to the left. Going to grab around, take my right hand and put it below the clavicle, and I'm pressing downward pressure down to the edge of the stretch and have them take a nice inhale and exhale. Perfect. And I'll bring it back up. And we'll have them scoot back down so we can rest their head comfortably on the, the table. But since we're just maneuvering it, I want to make sure to provide that head some support. And the last one for the neck, what we're going to do is we're using our fingertips just to crawl up along the trapezius and splenus uh, capitis there. And I'm going to come right here below the um, base of the skull using the pads of my fingers and we're going to push the head up and back and we're going to ask them to tilt their head back comfortably and just let it go and this should feel real good on so many of your clients so many of us spend a lot of time with our head in forward flexion looking down at devices and, and whatnot. So to have some extension like this feels really good. Excellent. So now let's go ahead and move down to the low back. So now moving to the low back and some sports massage uh, stretches that you can apply. The first one we, we will do is have them put their arms over the chest, like they're hugging themselves. And what you can do is you can take a towel or use a sheet and you're going to reach underneath this shoulder right here. And uh, the sheet just allows you to have a good grip. Now what I'm going to do is take this left hand and we're going to apply it here on top of the ASIS right here. And we're just going to rest it there. And then I'm rotating this right here. And they're feeling an amazing stretch. And we're just going to go to the edge of the stretch. So what you want to do is ask your client or patient uh, to let you know when they get to the edge of their stretch. And we're going to hold that for about three to five seconds. Now for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the, uh, the sheet just so you can see the stretch more. So we're going to grab underneath this uh, shoulder right here, placing this hand palm firmly on the, um, on the ASIS to keep that hip straight in position so it's not rotating. And then I'm leaning back. Let me know when you get to the edge of your stretch. Good. 
Now he's feeling an amazing stretch in that QL and into that SI joint. Feels incredible. And we're going to stay here for about three to five seconds. Allow me to have a couple of, uh, couple of deep breaths. Good. And then we would switch and do the other side. But for this next demonstration, I'm going to have you lie on your uh, left side for me. Again, these stretches are uh, specifically targeting uh, the low back. So we want to bend the top leg and we're going to keep that low leg straight. We're going to take this arm right here and we're going to place our hand or an elbow right here on the glute. Be careful not to get into the hip joint, but into the glute just for our positioning. Then we're gonna take either a right hand or a right elbow, and we're gonna place it on the shoulder. And now what we're gonna do is step one, is rotate the low back. Step two, rotate the upper body and you'll most likely get a good uh, little pop like we just heard right here. And we're gonna hold this for three to five seconds and just going to the edge of their stretch. Good. And then we'll bring them back. Now for more isolated, what we'll do is we can place our hand right here to keep this hip fixed. And we're gonna take our right hand here and we're going to keep the hip in position and we're going to stretch that body, upper body that way. Good right there. Excellent. And we're going to hold that for three to five seconds. And we'll help them rotate this way. Now, we could do just the lower half of the body, placing our left hand over the glute and then rotating that that way and keeping this shoulder in a fixed position so it's not rotating there. Feel good stretch there. And you wanna be careful of your posture, shoulders aren't up too high, that third down, and you're just applying some downward pressure. Good, now we're gonna bring him back to this position. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna have him flip to the other side. And what we're gonna do here is, requires you to take off his shoes. Because <laughs> what we're gonna do is get a nice big hip stretch. So, we're going to take this, we're going to grab the lower leg right here. You're going to take your foot and you're going to place it in this low back. Not over, not on the bones, not, not on the uh, sacrum, not on the iliac uh, crest there, not on the ribs, but you're going to find that little sweet spot in the QL. And this might take, this is going to take some practice to get this right. And you have to be a bit flexible too. So depending on age and flexibility. Now what I'm going to have you do is reach your upper arm back towards me. Good. Now we're grabbing that. I have my, I have a good solid foundation on my left foot to keep me in position. And I'm holding here this left ankle, left wrist. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to open this all up. And we're just gonna go to the edge of their stretch. Good. And we're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And we'll let everything reset. And you have to find that sweet spot for where your foot's planted. Um, 
but this is a great stretch if somebody sits at their office desk all day long and has low back pain or they're a driver to ring this low back out and hip is amazing so we're going to go ahead and stretch that again good and five four three two one and relax good. and let's go ahead and lie back face up so if you're enjoying these videos uh, please sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe button down below now next what we want to do is focus on the hips and these are a great stretch for people who have like piriformis syndrome, uh, SI joint dysfunction, things of that nature. So, starting on this left side, what we're going to do is we're going to bend the leg. I'm going to bring it up into more flexion. Taking my hand on the inside here. Be sure not to pull out any hairs. We're taking our left hand here on the outside of the knee. Now be mindful if your client has had uh, knee surgeries and uh, or has any type of knee pain, you want to be careful on how much torquing pressure that you're putting on this joint. It shouldn't put any stress on it if you're doing it right but you still run a risk with those with limitations. So I'm nice and hooked on here. And what I'm gonna do is rotate this way. And my line of drive is towards the opposite shoulder. Now for some people who have really tight hips and I'm feeling some resistance here, I can go back to my starting position rotate and use more of my forearm along their lower leg. And how's that feeling on the knee? No pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Now my line of drive is towards that opposite shoulder. Let me know when it gets to the edge of your stretch. Good. And it'll feel real nice stretch deep into the glute. This does target that piriformis muscle. And if you want to get some uh, PNF activation, you can have them push about 10% of your strength into my hand and hold it. So let's go ahead and push. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. Good. All right. Now we're gonna grab their uh, their heel and then this hand is with the knee and what we can do is just nice rotation we're going up and we're butterflying it outwards we're going up and we're butterflying outwards good butterfly outwards and then we'll go the opposite direction we'll go out and then straight leg bend out and and for this next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our uh, leg up into a 90 degree position here. And we're gonna actually rotate it outwards. We're gonna place his hand right here on the chest. You can have a seat comfortably here on the table. And we're gonna rotate this outwards. Okay, until about stop at the end of resistance. Now I'm going to push towards his chest and ask him to let me know when I get to the edge of his stretch. Good, and we're going to hold this here. This one we're not going to apply any type of PNF. We're just going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Going to come nice straight leg. Again, get some good rotation. Open that up. Now for this next stretch, I like to use a towel or something on my clothing. 
because what we're going to do is we're going to bend their leg up and out. And you want to place their foot right there on your heel, or right there on your hip. And we're going to place one hand right here on the knee, and we're going to bring this up to the edge of the stretch, so they're going to let you know when we get to the edge of the stretch. Good. So I have my weight going that way to get some good hip flexion, but then my hand is slightly pressing down with just my weight to get a good stretch here on the adductors. Good. And then we're going to bring it back down. Again, we're going to go out to the edge of the stretch, applying a bit of downward pressure, and we're just going to hold it right here for five, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. And now for this next stretch, there's uh, two variations just depending on the mobility of your client. We can bend this knee and we're going to bring this heel flat towards the inside of the leg. Bring it flat towards the inside of the leg. Or we can bring this up above the knee. And I always put my hand there to uh, protect the knee and this foot from sliding down. He's pretty flexible. So we're going to do it above the knee. And what we want to do is we're going to apply some downward pressure on this knee. I'm taking my right hand, I'm applying downward pressure right here. And let me know when you feel the edge of your stretch. This is a good st stretch for anyone that's experiencing any type of growing pull, um, even SI joint dysfunction, psoas dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Good. And then that same one can be demonstrated just by bringing it in on the inside of the uh, leg, holding it into place, and then just applying this downward pressure with the right hand. And how's that feeling? Now, if you want, this is one of those areas where you can apply a PNF stretch. So I'm going to have you go ahead and push your knee into my hand, and we're going to hold it for seven seconds. And let's go ahead and push about 10% strength. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now this next stretch, we can come out, we're going to come to the inside of their leg. And for these I like to make sure that I'm putting a padding, a towel on my shirt. And what we're going to do is we're just going to walk this out until we get to the edge of the stretch. And we want to make sure that this knee stays straight. And depending on how this foot is turned out or in is where you're going to feel the stretch. For this, I want to make sure that we're targeting these adductors here. Good. And let me know when I get to the edge of your stretch. Good. And where are you feeling that stretch right now? Nice. And this is one that you're going to apply a PNF stretch to. So I'm going to have you push your foot into my hip and we're going to hold it. Good. And push. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Usually after that PNF stretch, you can get an additional one to two inches out of the stretch. Now this next stretch, we're going to bring it across the body. And we want to have a nice straight leg. 
I'm going to take my left hand and I'm wrapping it around the ankle, taking my right hand to hold this leg into place. Now we're going to take it over and again we're just going to go to the edge of their stretch. And let me know when. Good. And when are, where are you feeling this stretch right now? Nice. Okay, and we're going to hold it this for three, two, one. And then from this position, we can just bend the knee, place their foot on our hip. Again, keeping this uh, leg stabilized so there isn't an over rotation. And now we can lean into this stretch like this. Good there. And next what we're going to do is have them come up to a seated position. Good. And you can slide back. We want to have their legs straight on the table. All right. So this stretch is going to be really nice spinal stretch for the low back. Um, those who are in fixed position for long hours, this is a great stretch. What we're going to do is we're going to bend this left leg and they're going to keep, you want them to keep their spine nice and straight. They're going to bring this left arm behind them as a stabilizing arm. They're going to bring this right arm up and they're going to take a nice inhale and exhale and bring it across their body towards you. You're going to grab their, their wrist Placing one hand on the knee just for stabilization and they're, you're going to stretch them and they're going to look towards that back wall. And you're feeling a nice stretch there in the lumbar spine. Good. All right, so those are some uh, sports massage therapy stretches that you can uh, apply into your techniques uh, in your own private practice. Let me know down in the comment sections below um, how you and your clients have benefited from these stretches. Um, I know they've been helpful for uh, me and my clients for, for many years. So if you enjoyed this video, show me some love. Hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out my program links in the description and I'll see you in the next episode.